I want to talk about this because this is this is this is uh, pretty crazy. I know I know a lot of commentators are going to be uh, addressing this, so I'm I'm going to go ahead and 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 just get to it here. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this pop up on Twitter. Bam! This is from Press TV. PressTV.com has been seized by the United States government in accordance with seizure warrant issued pursuant to USC 981, 982 and 50 USC 1701 to 1705 as part of a law enforcement action by the Bureau of Industry and Security, Office of Export Enforcement and Federal Bureau of Investigation. So the FBI and the state and the Justice Department uh, have... Uh, seized press tv along with various other um it's primarily islamic news organizations lefty anti-imperialist anti-capitalist news organizations this is a statement from press tv it says what it, in what seems to be a coordinated action a similar message appears on the websites of iranian and regional television networks that claims the domains of websites have been seized by the United States government. Oh, that's a so weird. I thought, I thought, I thought when Joe Biden came in, like we're, we were going to get more press freedom in this country, but Oh, this is so weird. Like we have like less now. Julian Assange is still in prison. Biden's going to try to extradite him anyway, even though uh, the, 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 the judge said that he shouldn't be because he might commit suicide in an American prison because American prisons are such dumpster fires of human rights violations that he might kill himself. That's so weird. I thought I thought we were supposed to get more press freedom. Are Democrats tired of fucking being wrong yet? And I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm really not. But for fuck's sake... Like, my friends that vote for the Democratic Party because they believe that it is the party of good, are you tired of being wrong yet? I'm genuinely fucking asking. Because at every turn, every turn, you guys are proved wrong about your party. This is not happening because of Trump. This is happening because of Biden. This is happening because the CIA has been trying to take down Iran for a very long time because they, they failed. They weren't able to keep Iran as a puppet regime. Like, what is it going to take for these people to abandon this party? I really don't know. I really don't know. And it's, it's, it's infuriating. It's infuriating. Because they give me this argument as if, you know, voting for Democrats has saved my life. They just seized pretty much anything that's Arab and Islamic state media. They just took it. So what are they? So basically, this is this is the United States saying, hey, we don't really give a shit about the First Amendment. We, we, freedom of press is just sort of a thing we say. It's not a thing we do. Okay? I mean, we're going to, like, yell at other countries that don't have, a, like, total freedom of press, but, like, neither do we. And we really don't. If we did, the gray zone wouldn't be getting shut down. Richard Medhurst wouldn't be uh, getting his uh, PayPal and Venmo locked in, locked. Press TV would still fucking have their website. Now, they, they still exist They under the domain of uh, PressTV.ir, which I think is like an uh, Iranian designation. So I think that's what they want. Um, probably for e easier for tracking, easier to block the sites if need be. Um, within the United States, you can block a particular domain, I'm sure. So where does it stop? Is RT going to be blocked next? Is AJ Plus going to be blocked next? Hell, your 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 best friend in the Middle East, Israel, blew up their fucking headquarters a couple weeks ago. 
and you yelled at you 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 didn't say a dick all about that you just yelled at ap reporters for being pro palestinian this is proof that the america doesn't like uh, the america doesn't really believe in free press they they believe in uh, a propagandistic fascist state that has state sponsored media that tells you what to believe in that's what CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News are. That's what NPR is. That's what PBS is. It is state-sponsored propaganda that tells you what you should believe in. And what you need to believe in is the almighty dollar, is that capitalism is the greatest thing, and anything outside of that is evil. Now, this is done under the guise of, what is it, uh, declaration of national emergency and claiming that it, this is an unusual or extraordinary threat. Well, that's strange. Why would a independent, lefty, um, Iranian state news organization be considered a unusual and extreme threat? Perhaps it has something to do with the very recent Iranian uh, 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 Iranian elections. Richard Medhurst uh, on on uh, Press TV has uh, covered it on his show Communique. Uh, I got to I got to watch it. He does a, a nice brief history and then talks to a a, a great guest from the University of Tehran. But uh, I know some of you guys are going. Wait a minute, Chris. I I Iran elections elections are for democracies. Oh, but we've been told Iran is a theocratic dictatorship ruled by extreme Islamist philosophies that are against the freedom of the world. I thought Israel was the only democracy in the Middle East. Oh, but that's right. Certain people in Israel aren't allowed to vote or their votes don't count because they're not. They're not Jewish. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Because Israel's not a democracy. It's a the it's a theocratic dictatorship that likes to play democracy. So that people don't realize that they're actually in a theocratic dictatorship. It's like America. This is a crypto fascist state. But because every four years, well, every two years in some instances, we go check a box. And we feel like our civic duty is done. So Iran had an election. They had seven candidates uh, to choose from instead of two. And the guy that won is, um, is, is, is they, well, so the Western media calls him a hardliner. But uh, he's, that just means he's conservative. Most of Israel's prime ministers have been conservative. We haven't seen a progressive Israeli prime minister. But if he's Iranian, uh-oh, that's the wrong kind of brown. That's not the approved kind of brown. So the president-elect basically came out and said, hey, the United States needs to lift the uh, sanctions imposed by the Trump administration. Um, and we're willing to sit down and talk to you about the JCPOA, the Iran nuclear deal. Uh, now, Biden has come out and said the only way that they will remove sanctions is if uh, if they rejoin the nuclear deal, which Trump is responsible for. So again, it's like, why is Iran being punished for something Trump did? It doesn't make any fucking sense. And if I made that statement on press TV, it, the United States government would be like, oh, it's unusual and extreme threats to call out United States hypocrisy the lunacy and idiocy of their fucking decisions. So 
So he makes a statement, right? Which to me, it's like if you want to be the president that's anti-Trump, you would just lift those sanctions during a pandemic. Why do you need economic sanctions on a country during a fucking pandemic? You are you are willingly causing people to suffer in that country for no reason other than to, you know, jerk your own dick off. And make people watch because it's a power thing. Yes, I'm saying our government is a political version of Louis C.K. But here's the problem. Uh, Joe Biden has been very hesitant about meeting with Iran. Uh, the, the, the previous president tried and he was very hesitant. He didn't want to, uh, you know, meet with them and all that. So now this new guy's like, yeah, we're, we're cool, but I'm not ready to talk to you. But you should lift those fucking sanctions, dog. Because we'll join it, but you fucked up. You could have lifted the sanctions at any point. The last president wanted to have a meeting, and you were hesitant about meeting him. So now why would I just bend the knee to the American state? We have all the cards. You want us to join the nuclear deal? Great, lift those sanctions. Oh, no? Then I'm not meeting with you. Again, I'm going to point out where the fuck does America get off dictating what other countries can do with their nuclear armaments when we, America is the only fucking country that's ever, ever fucking dropped a nuclear weapon, nuclear bomb on a country. Where do they get off on that shit? Why are you the arbiters of nuclear proliferation? Why do you get to determine what other countries can and can't do? Nobody really has an answer to that. I mean, I, I sure shit don't, other than you, you need to be in control. And, you know, you want to be a, a global imperialist dictator country. So now they seize... Press CB and various other Iranian state news organizations. But still, we're the champions of democracy. Boy, it's funny. I just don't remember the last democracy seizing people's press, seizing people's media outlets. But gee, Willikers, I don't remember a democracy doing that before. But hey. We're redefining things. We're going to redefine anti-Semitism, domestic violence extremists. Hey, let's just redefine media. Let's just redefine journalism to fit into, into the, the paradigms of the U.S. imperial fascist state. That's where we're headed. What gives America the fucking right to say what another country can do with their press And you violated your own constitution for, by doing that. You're champions of free press, but you're not going to allow another country to have it. When you really look into history, when you really start paying attention, you realize that everything that America says it stands for, it doesn't. It's a country built on lies. And all those lies are starting to get exposed because you can bury the lie but eventually it'll rain, there'll, there'll be a landslide, and boom, all your fucking lies come out. That's where we're at with this shit. Let me look at your comments. I gotta find them, sorry. Cynical girl says revolution, baby. <laughs> uh, Holly, this is a quote. Don't be disappointed. Is that something that he said? Is that something that Joe Biden said? Don't be disappointed. Uh, climate rebel. Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, says, what's it going to take for people to abandon parties? I don't know. Uh, that's a great question. It's a question that I've been asking myself for a long time. Uh, and I don't particularly have an answer for him. Uh, 
it points out Israel took lessons from the U.S. on on a on a fake democracy. Yeah, you just say that you're a democracy and then do uh, what authoritarian fascist governments do. You know, you criminalize points of view, ideologies. Anybody that criticizes you, you can't. I mean, Thomas Jefferson basically said there should be a revolution in this country every 20 years. Every 20 years, we should be evolving what, what this country stands for. And they're like, nah, we're just going to criminalize dissent. Uh, Holly says, Richie was furious. Yeah, I, I pulled up the video. I haven't yet. Uh, one of the most emotional rants I've seen from him. Yeah, that's that's saying a lot, Climate Rebel. I, it, yeah, because... Uh, Richard gets <laughs> he gets emotional. He, he's very passionate, and I love it because you can feel that fire from him. That's that's why I like, um, you know, I I like watching him because you can tell that it's not. I there are certain pundits like that you can tell it's fake. It's like this put on anger, like this performative anger, uh, and with him, it's not. You can you can very much tell that that he's not. Um, but, but, but cynical growth says they redefined democracy like they rebranded human rights dissent as being violent extremists. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly what they did. It's pretty much where uh, where we're at. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, over on the old Odyssey, in the name of freedom, human rights, and democracy, everything is allowed, especially when they make countries into regimes. <laughs> Captain Forskin says fascism is healthy. I hope you're, I hope that's a, 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 a sarcastic statement there uh, because it is not. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people-powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now. Uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the Merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it, and uh, and you guys help keep this uh, keep keep this this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.